back. I've just seen you here, Trace. Uh, I had this horrible nightmare that Fnatic just got 16 4 on their map <laughs> pick. And oh, wait, what's going on? It's new. <laughs> oh, God, it was real. Here it is. It's fast outside for complexity and Oboe opening up. It has actually JW to get the first kill, and Golden Ooh. keeps it in the advantage of the Swedes. But outside control lost, and with players already down secret, Flusher has been dispatched to deal with this situation. Back out from Secret and back to the garage. Cole have so much room, so much real estate, but they've lost Lobby in the process. Rush, getting rushed by the dual Berettas of Brolin. Love that. Not that, though. Flusher losing all the utility in kit for his team as he gets one tap with the P250. Brolin goes back to A, which is locked down. Cole might want B after they've killed Flusher. Losing Lobby, getting a kill lower. That's temptation. And Cole... B is their destination. The bomb coming a little bit behind. Poison needs to pull his gun out because Golden is clearing the corner and timing is everything here. Great shot. But now Fnatic, no. Now they can throw rotations down at the B bomb site. They've seen two players and they've heard two shots fire and they've had two teammates die. Yeah, Poison's just, you know, kind of surgical with this P250. It's actually got to not be a good feeling there for the side of Fnatic. That two-on-two -two retake is going to come with responsibility for Crimson. Brolin, here comes Brolin. They're going to double peek him, and the duelies do absolutely nothing that they're supposed to. That silence USP does. This leaves us in a 1v1. Crimson does have a kit, and he's going to go for the kill straight up outright. Gets nice. it. Flame F has faltered, and that's going to get Fnatic their first round on this map, albeit the first round in this map. What's up now, Swedes? Woo! Cole probably force here, I'm imagining, right? Bomb pilot and pistol, their map pick. T side start breaking the money. Sounds tempting indeed. And yeah, Poison's got the AK. Maybe they're going to eco around this one weapon, though. Don't see heavy investments behind it. So also a nice idea. Uh, we'll delay Poison's AWP for some time, but that's fine. Uh, see, if it were us, we'd just everybody would just buy immediately and not even talk about it or consult one another. Yeah. And that's because we're all on the same page, man. We're like a well-oiled machine. A well-oiled, rusty tractor. <laughs> We've oiled it up as much as we can, but it don't stop it being an old, rusty tractor. Yep. And, well, might be Flusher doing some farming in this round. Molly's going to force them through, and Obo didn't want to have to go, but I guess he wasn't really left with any other choice. Thanks, Flusher. And now, Crims moving into ramp to take up this position of his fallen teammate. He's going to take down another. Poison here with the AK. Not seeing anything yet. Does at least have that bomb retrieved. While oh, this is happening, Blame has actually snuck through the A site, down the vents, and Crims... Oh, he's going to go back and check it. Already a much better start from Crims than Mirage. Yeah. Well, he's just showing the bomb at B. Two players there for Fnatic. He runs right back up to that top site. But actually, it's open. Brolin's in lobby, and he's flanking. Oh, dear. He's got to make his decision to go back to A as he now realizes that's where Poison could and should be, dropping into the site. Plant. Oh, it's coming through. Brolin's going to sprint at the last second. Oh. Stop it. Nice stuff for Brolin. Oh, oh dear. Got messy for complexity down in the B halls, but... I think he's got a, a crick in his neck. Not to be confused with a creek in his neck, which would be two totally different things, I guess. They need a, a new chiro chiropractor, you know, mash that one back the, into shape. Good old chiropractor. Chiropractor. Yeah, I flew in one of those one at a time. <laughs> was it well-oiled or rusty? No, nah, it was rusty and mildly terrifying. 2 for Fnatic. Color buying in round three. They got the bomb plant, so temptation strikes again. Fast outdoor, or rather, Oboe's going in with a MAC-10. He's already crossed round. Brolin can line up too, but Oboe from the side, taking him down. It's still a costly round. Oh. Crims even spams him through the center of the site. You don't see that every day. And through the smoke as well. Dear, oh dear, this has not gone the way that Cole hoped. Two players, they are in the site. Fnatic are trapped, but that one way allows JW to go right through, and he's going to look down and deal death to poison. Blame F alone in a one-on-four. This ain't Mirage anymore. No, you're right. It's Complexity's pick of Nuke on their T side. And as you can tell, it's gone off to a swimming start here. Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> swimming in the flames and then catching the bullies. It's not how you want to go out of your blame F, but it had to happen at some point. It was insurmountable odds almost. 
awesome look at that lineup. It's just unfortunate because Obo gets in the site. He has all that room to run and then, you know, ultimately not being able to clear it out kind of sets his two teammates up for what is a lineup in a fatal funnel, also known as a doorway. For all you hipsters out there. Like Harry. Yeah, man. I used to call it the fatal funnel before. It was cool. <laughs> yeah. Golden taps yeah, config outside. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a ring to it. How's he managed that then? How's he done that? <laughs> Gets down the vent, does rush. He can't even believe it. He's looking back up the vent. Like, surely I haven't just got away with this. But he has. Better believe it. Rush now down in the B site, and they have. He's going for a knife. Oh, JW. JW gets his first knife in the game, and it's on to blame F, no less. He let him cross red and then walks behind him and, and pulls out the stabber. The stabber. Yep. Not to be confused with the dabber, which none of you should be doing, is dabbing. Oh, Hugo just dabbed. Hugo actually just dabbed. Unacceptable. No evidence. Nice now. Swinging his dab hands left and right, and so is Poison. He's burning in the fire and flames. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to see that knife again for JW. Right? I could see him creeping yeah. up on the X-ray, just creeping up behind Red. Look at this. Make sure there's no one behind, and boom, right in the back. This is a great start for Fnatic. Everything is, is swung back in their favor now. Finally, will Complexity have the answers? Keep in mind, in these four rounds. Cole's buy has been a bit back and forth, a bit weird, right? They've been investing, uh, you know, with SMGs and rifles, mixed weapons, hero AKs. So this is the first five AK buy they've actually shown us. This should be their chance to get on the ball. Will Fnatic allow it? Ooh. Double molly. Yeah, we got these, uh, like, angled outside smokes that give you the option to cross secret or wait for a main crunch. Emphasis on the unch, as now they get down into secret with those smokes fading. They leave a man outside, and they are going to try and wrap into garage, actually. JW waiting passively back in CT. Why isn't clearing out main as well? There we are, two players inside of this site. Still don't know about JW. He's been waiting very, very patiently back in CT spawn. Now with the swing, they're more than aware. He doesn't quite get away with the kill, but he's bought poison down low. Oh Flash is going to send JW out of there, and Config this whole time has shrunk himself down to the size of a small mammal, hidden, and that there is a free kill onto JW from Config. We go heaven here. He's just hanging around Hellside Cole. 30 seconds to take A by the looks of things. They're putting pressure on main. Russian lobby. Here come the flashes. Brolin jumping. They might have heard it. Crims has killed Poison in the meantime. And now comes the push. They do check it. They knew after all. Crims hiding in the site. There's nowhere else where he can be. Rush finds him from the lobby. Turns back to catch the ramp progression. And there's one more wave of that. As Flasher pushes in through trophy right now. Rush has retreated to the safety of the back lobby position. And... This is Cole's round through and through. Flusher, hoping for damage. And nothing getting bestowed upon him. It's Cole finding their first. Lovely play towards CT, right? JW definitely misses a trick by not getting that kill into Poison early. If he does, maybe maybe things are better for Fnatic, but... Oh dear, Flush is getting run down after one. The grenade comes in late and Rush with a 3k. Lovely stuff on the lobby lurk. Deals with the aggression in the flank as well. And I love that flash thrown in here to allow Config just to pop up into JW. I mean, he got through anyway. Flash or no flash, he would have caught that dude off guard. But a flashy round for Cole to find there first. Speaking of flashy, Phil's birthday, man. Zipex. Happy birthday. Nice. Got Astralis playing later. Yeah, obviously nice. not with Zipex, but... Uh, it's true, against mouse ports. Damn. Well, that would be a bit of a birthday treat if Astralis took that one away. Nice nade. Whoa. Crims dunking down Cole, hitting almost everyone outside. 
It will get the bomb down B. Crimson's pre-rotated through Vent. He's got a Molotov to stop this. Russia's throwing in flashes through the rafters. Crims, time to shine. Oh, good timing on the swing, but he does get tagged. And now Crims in a world of hurt. They are all around him. Config doesn't fare well, but Poison is there to keep that in the advantage of complexity. There's a spot of weirdness going on with Brolin being up here on T-Roof. And still close to the ramp is, uh, is Flush up with the AWP. This is not where the AWP is often used. <laughs> But here he is using it anyway, and oh, that's no. why it's not often used here. Not ideal. Roland's outside flank. Yeah, this could be good. This could be big. He's lining up a double, and there it is. The bomb now dropped as well. Rut row, 2v2. Blame F on 11 HP. Rush somehow has snatched the bomb right out from underneath the nose of Fnatic. He's going to plant for heaven. Blame holding an AWP angle here on Mini. There's the shot, and it lands. Just JW, one on two. Blame still very, very low. Fine rush. JW sets himself up for success so far. Again, blame low on AWP. Smoke towards the door is going to force a fight here for blame. If he wants to go for it, if he swings really fast, he's got to do it from the hut. JW taps the bomb and blame hasn't moved. Rightfully so. Now JW has the information. He's going to stick it. There's no way he gets off of it this time. Blame not going to go for it. He knows the jig is up five to one fanatic put a fifth one on the board and well, for Blame, he holds on to the op. He gets three kills in the round and bomb plant for complexity, but that is just about all she wrote there for that. Yeah, fair enough for Blame, right? Like, he, he probably couldn't have won that even if he ran out. JW, if he's walking, he has no time. If he's running, JW hears and he gets off the bomb and kills him. There was time for that as well. So nice try for Blame. Great round. Catching Flusher in that smoke fade, going off the no scope. I think we had the Fnatic mom section there. Could be wrong. Shout out esports mums. Anything that you'd like to say to them in particular, Hugo Byron? No, uh, other than keep supporting esports players, dude. It's always nice. You know, we got so many young guys, even like Brolin as an example, we know his family are very supportive. He came in through gamers. I mean, Obo's 17, right? Yeah, another and great living, example. You know, a transcontinental life. Yeah. Interesting times out here. Complexity. Showing us what they've got, but on Nuke. Oh, Brolin started properly. Speaking of the 17-year-old, him and Config are going to team up. They're going to take control of the squeaky. Crims pushes Hut on the back of that and finds himself a kill and a poison. Hobo is so slick with it, man. It's unfair. Crims gets headshot, and so does Config. Obo continues his tear. That's three in the round for him, and Rush will mop up the remaining kill, putting a second on the board for Complexity. Complexity really want to drive this one home. They would love to end this series out 2-0. Not only is it ease of mind, but it's a statement game at that point after you've convincingly destroyed on the first map. Yeah, you've 2-0 uh, Astralis, so 2 0 Fnatic. That's certainly doable for Cole here, and especially on their map pick. Great reaction after they get those door kills. They know Crims is in hut, so instead of trying to fight him for the lobby control, they go, all right, you want lobby? Have it. We'll take A. And they swap, and they just basically force him into the hut, and he has to stay there, gets hard peeked by Oboe. Good stuff. Or back out for Cole. None for Fnatic. No guns, pistols. Which, yeah, it's technically our guns, if you want to call me out on that one, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, technically, yeah. I wouldn't call it a gun buy, that's for sure. More of an eco. Back to late smokes outside here for Cole. Always a go-to when you're up against pistols, right? Getting given all this room, Fnatic aren't really going to fight too heavily to stop you crossing. And to blame, he wants to take the fight before the smokes pop, and now they pop, so no more fights. Flash into secret, and he goes back. Lurking outside, maybe coming in through main on this top site hit. There are four players here for Fnatic. JW already tagged, but everyone else pretty healthy. And I mean, even with this stack, you'd like to think Cole could deal with this, right? If they have good utility, they molly out certain positions, they get their flashbangs in, but they're not really rushing. They're waiting to see if Fnatic react to these outside smokes, and they have not. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it felt like it could happen, but we didn't expect it to. Brolin not happy about it, and he's come alive up in heaven. Two oh, on no. the deagle, and now oh, that's dear. why Fnatic say, yeah, let's start crunching on these fools. Blame out from main, but slowed down. Config out of ammo, and a man oh. close in the sight. He does manage to deal with him on the Glock. Golden all alone and finished off by Blame. 
Brolin makes that a lot closer than it ever should have been with two fantastic deegs from Ooh. heaven. That's, yeah, great stuff. And then because Cole are like, oh, we need to get out into A quick, let's trade these kills. We, we know where they are. Well, they haven't considered the player above them. They didn't know there were two on default either. And so that almost falls apart for them in a two on four. They restore and they recover. But whew, scary stuff. Fnatic, good eco. Now time to do it with the buy round. Smokes outside again. These ones are early. They're coming down full force. JW in main and Golden in the garage rushes. He's going to try the vent dive again. That's a risky move into a rifle round. He puts the pressure on. He puts the doubt in the mind of Fnatic. But Crims has a gap in the smoke. He can see that no one's down. But did they come down with the flashes? JW has to go and find out by clearing lower. Flasher holding on to ramp with the Molotov ready. Not spotted the cross yet, but he's ready to throw it down at the perfect time. Spray with a UMP, and he gets away with one. He can't really jump off the railing because it could easily catch him, but he just goes for it with the flashes, hoping Cole don't take him down, and they don't. AK thrown out of there by Poison. Smart stuff, not wanting to give away the gun to aggressing Flusher on ramp. Cole go back towards A instead. Yeah, there's a lot more answers from Fnatic already here on Nuke though, right? And that's definitely helped by a more stable performance across the board. On the back of ramp going silent, I wonder if Fnatic are going to push this. And it, well, there we go, there's our answer. They're pushing it. They're pushing ramp. Flusher getting this information that it's got to be outside or A, and he's even arriving. They do deal with Flusher. And that's now put like this seed of imagination in the mind and complexity that this could lead. Uh, uh, it's down through the vent. That's a risky one to go for. It's a rush. Yeah, Crims gets spam uh, damage off and kills two. Rush has to go back for the bomb. Golden's already B as well, and Rush isn't even considering it. 18 on the clock. Blame has to run and win this one-on-one. -on -one. And when he does, Brolin just drops vent. So more pressure for Blame. He needs an immediate kill, and he can't get it. Golden shuts it out, and Fnatic find a sixth. Yeah, definitely more solutions for Fnatic, right? They were lower early because of the outside smokes that Cole threw at the start, right? That forced two rotates down B, and Cole didn't really consider it in the last few seconds. Great spray from Crims. Look at those two kills he gets through the wall. And Golden holding strong as the solo B player as well. Fnatic not giving this one away for free. He's in a fast A play this time around. It certainly looks like it. The flashes, they're good, but it only nets one kill for complexity. Ooh. Poison actually dealing with Golden. Obo able to cross into the site, but just barely. Blame now dropping late into main. Has put this back in the advantage of Cole. And Poison following up with another. It's only Crims left, and they know exactly where he is. This site plant can come in. And for Crims, pretty rough spot, especially with Poison now joining Blame outside there and ready to trade. And that's exactly what he does. They just double swing. They don't give Crims the room. And now, finally, if you're complexity, it felt like it's been a decade since you've ever been in this position, but you're actually in a spot now where you've broken the Fnatic money. You know, we saw the last time this happened, they got a little bit close with Brolin's Deeg and Flush's USP. I love the main drop there from Blame as well, right? When enough pressure has been put on A and, and Crims has been smoked off, he's not even considering an outside player so late and Blame just falls in from above and takes it back. Low economy indeed, but Fnatic actually put everything into this one. They want to break Cole back and this buy would be the one to do it. Brolin with a shotgun, Obo holding. Oh, he's just moved away. It still gets the kill somehow, some way. And that's, yeah, catastrophe for Fnatic. One of the top performers down with the only real weapon they had to show for it. Crims will pick it up and JW comes from below. Config looking at Garage right now. Timing could get the better of him if JW decides to peek. But Golden instead finds one with a deke. Won't go for the gun. JW's in the back line and he's got two as well. The earlier damage done by Flusher finished off. And JW once oh, more, hey. he might take it as well. Oh, hey. For JW. Wepa, JW. Slow down, my friend. That deagle comes to life from secret. Very unsuspected there from complexity. You could just tell. 
Yeah, and that's huge for Fnatic as well, who would have been double eco, and Cole likely would have had like a an eight, nine round T side off the back of that. But now Fnatic have actually broken Cole's money right back. That's a huge round for JW. The consequences are there, and look at the buy for Cole. It's weak. Yeah. It's kind of ugly, even. Poison just getting rushed. Golden's picked up the pace outside. And they're not even able to trade. He, oh, he does get away. He does. It's fine. It's all under control. Flame now retrieving the scout, but Golden still thirsting for frags out here in main. Gets rushed down by Config. Crims, he was inspired by Brolin's auto shotgun, and he's like, here, kid, let me show you how to use it. He puts up one before Config trades. Rush playing the grossest angle that exists in Counter-Strike. Let's see it one more time as uh, he's actually going to drop down to try and help out. But Blame's already been deleted. And there we go. Rush emerging. Leaves it all on JW again. Can he be the undoer of complexity? He hears the footsteps. Rush not even considering oh, that there could baby. be a player in the site. And Hello. Config's not here. So that's a free kill for JW. And now into a 1v1. Config's mollied out. JW just sticking the defuse, gets off of it. It's all a ruse. That could have been for it. For this peak. Surely. I think it could have been, right? Because now Config's like, well, he ain't defusing. There's a smoke down. But that's not as ideal as it might feel. JW's just Something, sticking the bomb. Anything. And yeah. it's not going to happen. JW wins out another big round for Fnatic. You can see why Hugo chose him as the man to keep an eye on. Yeah, 13-37 score. He's elite right now, Harry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Complexity, that's a that's a weird one. JW had two chances to stick that bomb. He could have won that round twice over, but he will only take eight for Fnatic, not nine. Good stuff, like nice stick, but Complexity have been calling the bluffs on these 1v1 defuses. Think back to Blame in the Hut. That situation was different. He had an orb and 10 health, so it did make a lot of sense, and the bomb wasn't planted for him. But Config had a chance to cause commotion there. Obviously, after the Molotov, nothing he could do if JW sticked it with a fire, apart from run through and likely perish in it. Whether he gets the kill is up to him. And now Cole are broken. They may have got the plant for a bit more money, but that money has just afforded them deagles on an otherwise flat eco. And this should be a great CT side for Fnatic. I always speak too soon, though, don't I? JW dropped immediately. Surely the deagles won't get out of control here, though. Yeah, that's how it's looking. Much better, much better look from Fnatic here on Nuke. But still early days, especially for Oboe. Not so early. In fact, it's going to be golden. That's to toe the line inside of the mini garage. It's going to give Rush a weapon, a valuable one at that. Because he's damn sure going to need this tool. So he's got so two good. bullets in the Deagle. And one in the M4, I think. But there's only two people alive, so... Exactly. In theory, he's got more than enough bullets. He's got two for them and then one for him if it gets real dire here in this clutch. Flusher is pushing oh, no. him. Flush is just not even waiting. Is he's... he going to check it, though? Ooh, no, Rush. Joking. What is the... Oh, oh no! Oh. How's that happened? How do Fnatic have this happen every single game? It's like they... Did... It, they, they... <laughs> I don't even get it. I don't even get it. It's like they're blessed by the by the knife gods. Yes, all hail the one true knife god. Here he is. What? That's just. Oh. I'll just turn around. Oh, there you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh. I love how he always goes for the left click. I know it does more damage in the back anyway, but like if Rush is full health, <laughs> look at Golden's he can just reaction. Golden puts his hand on his chest, like deep in hell. Ooh. I can feel that maybe going wrong, but man. Yeah, I mean, if there was any team to knife, it's Cole, right? Like, think about Config. Think about that E League knife. We all remember it on Overpass on that A site. Ooh. Scary stuff. This man is a blade of his own, but JW almost loses his life bouncing out back into main. Flame outside, his position known. And one more who was on the silo. Config's fallen off. Hole with late smokes. Wide ones at that. 
They've been keen to take the garage in rounds like this. And JW, you think about that Deagle round. He's coming back up from Seeker. He's looking to do it again, but he might not see a whole lot because Cole only have one player and it's Blame crept into the garage. Golden's considering it. Oh boy, timing is everything and he's got the shot. JW not needed, although he doesn't know it. And now Cole going to try and crunch a Brolin from the close position. He's got one poison trades, but there's so many more on the A site. Yeah, but in doing so, now they're in the firing line of JW and it's all left on to Obo. They're asking of a 1v4 from him. That's a big ask. And still an unknown player. Up on the rafters, I think it's Crims. And he will blindside Obo. Yeah, he was there just about the entire round, just patiently waiting, knows it's a pretty secure spot. And overall, the, the bird's nest, if you will, the perch that sits above that A-bomb site, that upper site. The complexity though, this, in, this hasn't gotten off a too as swimming of a start as Mirage, but fear not. Last half of play for the first half. Last round of play even for the first half. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Yeah, the money has not been great for Cole, right? Even thinking back to the opening few rounds where they were running off of hero AKs and fumes, it's more of the same Mac-10s, no AKs, two Galils, blame, wait, uh, blame waiting behind the Molotovs. The right blame. time to pounce, and he does. It's like a mix of Glaive and Blame. It's Glaive. Yeah, he's hiding behind Red Smoke, so maybe Ooh. he's somewhat the him. same. Look at JW going through. Oh. This time it gets the better of him. And now Cole, they're like, yeah, screw secret. We'll find somewhere else. We'll find another place to lay our heads. Ooh. Well, Poison. He's out for it right now. He does deal with the man back in hell and that carves a path for complexity. Brolin hidden at the CT vent, trying to make a bit of a stand here. And there's players in heaven. There's another at the door and it's Rush that he's not ready for. Is now Flusher left in the clutch here. Round 15, he's gonna be trying it no matter what. But how much can he get away with? Up the ladder, Obo's here as well. He heard him running around. Flush is going to try and find him, sniff him out. Yes, he's got him through the metal. Now a flashback in, plenty of util. The molly will do nothing. There's a player right below him as well. He's not going to check. He falls on his head and looking down, but it's all too late. Config with a tech closes it. It's still a great half of Fnatic, so you can't really get all too mad if you're on the Swedish side, but can they pull it back and perform the reverse sweep inside of this series? We'll have to see. Join us after the break for more Counter-Strike. There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic, come on back for it Alright, okay, running out of luck Too much in my club, Nishi run it up Why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you not my team pop Shawty, I know Why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you not my team pop My team pop
Then she run it up Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop Shawty, I know Why, why you always tripping like you top? Cause you not my team pop My team pop Here, Fnatic taking on Complexity, and it's been a dark first half for Complexity. After a triumphant first map, they look to redeem themselves, bounce back here in the second half of play on Nuke. And we're ready to get this one started. I've got Harry and Hugo with me. We're ready to pick up a pistol round, about as ready as we could possibly be. That being said, it's going to be a fan of a play here for the side of Fnatic. They're spreading out in a lot of different ways, outside with a lot of, well, a lot of presence. Yeah, they've uh, thrown this this heaven, oh sorry, hell smoke rather. That's an interesting one to pull into the pistol. While JW and Golden are doing all this, the other three are trying to move into ramp room. Obo trying to shut this one down, but they've already gotten up and passed him. He does Ooh. deal with one. And now we're into this kind of awkward situation where Crimson Flusher, they're trying to get this bomb down at B while the rest of the gang are getting picked apart up on the A site. Golden trying to hold Ooh. firm and he's doubled up. Poison still ready to come his way. But Golden wow, is putting on a show go. and his Excellent. config left last alive over in the vents. He's gone back up. He wants to deal with Golden, oh. but you can't. What a round from Golden. Man, that's nuts. And you've I, never I, seen anything like it, Hugo. No, we've never seen anything at all, Trace. I want I to commend Harry for casting that entire round off of the minimap and the minimap alone. That's, uh, yeah. that's, that's impressive Harry stuff. Harry Russell. I'm pretty good at it, man. Either way, for complexity, not really the pistol round that you want to see or not see therein. But here we go. We're back off to the races. It's going to be golden with the bomb in hand. And for us, just a pretty standard setup here for complexity. They need to contain Fnatic. They don't want them to get ahead of themselves. Scout rallying off in the garage. Poison, he's going to back up. Flusher putting pressure on ramp. Fnatic just defaulting right now, holding strong. Chilling in the lobby, but going back late outside. Accident and relaxing, they even say. Actually, Blames has come out as well to support Poison. Oh, they move away. Timing could get the better of complexity as they had the right call for a second. There are those smokes going through for Fnatic. Blame's gone to ramp, Poison's gone to hell, and Fnatic only sending one player behind it. It's Brolin going dip down below. Fnatic in no rush as they group up in the lobby. Yeah, Blame has already rotated down. He's here early and he's trying to go toe to toe with the opposition, but. Actually going to be Config opening this round up. It's a back and forth sort of affair here. And the scout from heaven oh, really can't land the shot that it's looking for. Complexity. This one's starting to become dire, albeit they did only have pistols remaining. So we look for something a little bit more signature, a little bit more in depth in the upcoming round. Oof. Just a save for blame here. What else can he really do? Fnatic is spread out in every direction. And they're hunting him down. Flush is going for the hunt. Pushing towards the spawn. Good luck, blame. 
because even if you get past Flusher, there's two more T's coming your way. Flash high, Flusher checking the corner. Blame just trying to cower back, and oh, he's not going to get out of that one alive. It will be Fnatic. This is just an excellent game, and Nuke, I don't know how this has happened. They looked to sleep on their map pick. Complexity had all the answers, and now that we flip the sides, now that we flip into Cole's map pick, well, the answers, they're not there yet, but we know Cole's CT side can be strong, and we're waiting for the rifle rounds to see what it involves. Yeah, no money now, though, for complexity as a result of going for that force. So, Fnatic, they're standing to take 13. And once again, they send Brolin outside a flurry of utility into the A site. And now they slow it down somewhat. Oboe smoked off in main, Blames at least rotated in. It's only pistols, right? So there's not really much riding on this one. For the side of complexity. And that's why Fnatic are just taking it so slowly right now. Yeah. CSGO HUD. Beautiful thing indeed. Very, very slow, quiet round. And rightfully so. Nobody wants to make that wrong move. Complexity's in a pretty pivotal position in terms of, okay, you can see it around here, you lose one of the next two, you're in dire straits, and this map, well, that could be all she wrote. But if you're gonna climb back, this is gonna be it. The action comes out over into the bomb site, and so far, two players having fallen make it three, and now just one lonely complexity player in config, and he's gonna have to try to thwart what is a bomb plan here from Flush and Company. Can't seem to do that. But they will find him with a grenade to end the round out. 13 for Fnatic. Yeah, luckily with the force and the follow-up save, Poison can buy the AWP in the first rifle round, so we do have that in play now for Cole. All the money, all the guns, but not many chances to perform. Up against 13. This is kind of how Fnatic were back on Mirage. If you remember, it was like 14 rounds to Cole uh, when Fnatic had their first and only buy round in that side. They got four rounds in the map. Complexity, they don't want to be in the same state. And so pressure is on to win this round. Fnatic have been laying down the pain and fast towards the door. They look to bring it again. Golden, he's already out into the open, but Cole is spraying them down, rush with an opener. And Fnatic won't follow up. They go back towards ramp up against Oboe. It's a mess. Shots wow. everywhere. Bombs dropped as well. Brolin will trade, but Fnatic have a chance to get down to B. They just got to get past Poison. Yeah, they've been able to bypass him. Config here in the double door with Blame rotating in through Secret. Smoking off the double and single side, so Decon and Double Doors both smoked out, and that should afford a plant for JW in spite of Config's best efforts to deny it through the smoke. Could have a bit of a duel between Blame and Brolin if all goes to plan. Rush and Poison do need to rotate, but Poison's rotation is held off by not knowing if ramp is cleared. Luckily enough, Blame winning his fight Okay. Now another getting one down towards Decon leaves it all on Flusher. A 1v3. This should be impossible, even for a man like Flusher, but he's opened up with the first. They're in the sight. The bomb out is. in the open, but he does get dealt with by Rush. The defuse comes on in, and complexity, they'll nab themselves a sixth round. Yeah, and an important one, too, and what is that climb back? You have to be near the flawless here, though. That's the worry right up against 13. We do have some breaking news just coming in. Ooh. Gen G Ooh. making the decision to remove Daps. Oh, well, not make it actually Daps step back. Yeah, four. Any re replacement? Yeah. Is he going to Valorant? Uh, he did, he said he's still looking to stay in CS. Okay, respect. But he said also he might not be staying in CS. Also respect. And he'll cross that bridge when he gets to it. And that's some more respect. So Daps. You heard it here first, straight from Harry Russell's mouth, our sideline live action reporter here as we yes, LARP around. I am down on the sidelines right now with the server conditions. They are looking pristine. Palpatine even. We're back at it. Complexity. This is a more dominant. This is a more convincing round thus far. Just two players alive for Fnatic in the size of Flusha and Krems. Yeah, and they've just grinded to a halt. Like, what do you even do if you're Flusher or Crims here? I physically cannot see a way around this situation. Yeah.
Krim still with the bomb outside Flusher. He's hanging around in lobby, but Cole aren't giving them the fights. They're not giving aggression the way of Fnatic. That's what they're hoping for. A chance to get anywhere. Flush is spamming. Crims drops Smoke's utility outside to try and get further position. Poison has the orb there, but Flusher hiding behind the smoke. Just waiting for Crims, biding his time. And Flush has already gone for the action. It's down to Crims. One on five. Not an easy spot to be in, that's to say for sure. Yeah, you reckon? <laughs> this is a pretty, uh, pretty dire situation, even for a guy like Crims with a Z at the end of his name. Pretty hard to navigate. Oh, time. Oh, that's nice. Any more? Any more in the tank for Crims? Early timeouts for Fnatic, it's better, you know, sooner than uh, than when it's already too late, right? Trying to fix the issue that is Cole CT side early on in the second half. Obviously, money is going to be the mainstay here. You've got to break through that. And for Fnatic, they barely got their own. I can't pretend to like you. Wow, dude. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> That's good, man. That's good, right. So, 13 to 7. <laughs> <laughs> Let's really focus on what we got going on here. Complexity. Pretty complex situation to be a part of. You're six rounds behind. They've got to dig deep if they want to carve a path back in. But they have been doing that. Slowly but surely is the wheel turning for Colt. Still waiting around back in spawn off an attic. They're just chilling out, having a good time. Flush it up, playing around this ramp smoke. Obo is here on the other side, spamming some shots through. But right now, it's just silence all across the board. Now the outside smoke's going to get thrown over by Crims and by Brolin. Those are the two names. But it's not outside. This is all to try and draw attention away. To allow these players to come through the door. Are they going to drop vent or is this just a fight? They do go down, but Config also goes down into the vents. This is weird. This is an odd one. Oh, it's all gotten messy. And for, for Fnatic, it's kind of fallen apart. You don't love it. You don't love it one bit. And this leaves Crims all alone back to ramp. But Obo has been patient here. Crims, is he ready for it? All his teammates dead and buried over towards A. And he might face the same fate here to Oboe, and indeed he does, complexity. It's another round on the board. That was great for Comic as well. Getting in the vents, spamming them, climbing up and down the ladder. They fall on his head. He's laying down so much damage through the wall as well, and uh, just denying the entrance to B, denying that bomb plant in the lower site that Fnatic were hoping for. Maybe still a chance for complexity after all in this second map. Not that they were to be counted out, but this was just so dominant, so one-sided at one point. Now the clock is changing, the times are changing. Another buy for Fnatic. They've got everything they need but the AWP, but... Poison on the other side, back in CT once again. Lowe's exchanged on ramp, trying to get Oboe's utility out. He still has a Molotov available, but everything else is done. Fnatic, they really do take their time on these T sides. Are they finally going to push behind the smokes? Most, they've had one player there at best. It's not been crossing towards Secret or even going towards Garage as Cole often did on their T side in the first half. Now they send Golden out behind it. No one else. Back to the ramp by the looks of things. Yeah, Blame uh, dropped a Molotov into that little, like, uh, angled outside smoke setup, and that's left a very weird setup there. Might be a gap for Poison to look through. 
Oboe's uncovered the terrible truth that lurks at ramp, but Blame is here, waiting around, trying to help his teammate out of danger. Poison also arriving now, and in with another. Ramp just gets annihilated for Fnatic. They move into that, that trifecta of death set up that Complexity were running, and if you've blinked, you've missed it. It's all left on to Brolin. And Poison's gonna make quick work of him, isn't he? Nine on the board for Complexity. They are getting back into this game. The last four in a row coming up in favor of Cole. And I have to say, like, Blame, you know, it feels like he's uh, he's back in the heads of Fnatic again because he's, he's masterfully read every single one of these rounds. Yeah, double, triple ramp set up if you count Poison on that fast rotate there. So Fnatic just kind of walk into the uh the the death valley as it were more pistols for the swedes fast outside this time they will cross behind the smokes it's about time that molly causes problems but fanatics still get the bomb down lower and that's their objective flusher above main roof waiting for a good time to drop config won't give him any noise just yet and fanatic actually own b there's no one here to stop them from planting the bomb into full five on five retake for complexity and even though it's against pistols these ones can get out of control with the bomb ticking against them oboe coming from ramp side he's going to be joined by blame as well and poison's even here with the orbs so a heavy setup no flashes to pop fanatic back in though Everyone's quickly falling in tow for Fnatic down through secret. It's an all-in ramp retake for Complexity, and that's where Flusher can come in. He's currently in hell. He ran the gauntlet outside. He's actually going to decide against it and moves down down towards the vents because his teammates are in a spot of bother. It's only JW left down at lower, trying to keep them off this bomb. It's all gotten a bit chaotic. The complexity have snatched it away inside of the site. Try as JW and Flusher might. They get on that bomb. They deny any opportunity of taking them off of it. There's just three players like bodyguarding the man, defusing. Yeah, Flusher, he's above as well, shooting through the floor. He even, he has the lineup, man. He's hitting the shots. He actually tagged the diffuser, but he wasn't able to push it over the line and get the kill. I always like the idea of that, but I've yet to see it work out wonderfully in a pro match. Think about it, if you remember, I found those really sick lineups. But uh, then they removed some rope that was on the ground that would have made it work, so, yeah. You gotta find a new one then, Harry. Yeah, I do. Figure it out. Get back in the server, test it. The news, but here we go. Poison outside, dealt with immediately. And so finally, Fnatic sat with them at advantage. It's about time as well. Back to outside. It's how they got to be pretty easily with no contest because Cole, when they've seen these smokes, they've often stacked ramp. And for good reason, Fnatic have liked these fakes, but this time Heavy Yard again. One round they've actually broken through in. Spam back for Config and Co. It's going to slow Fnatic right down. They sneak down behind these smokes, but they will mostly be able to get across. Flush is still waiting in the lobby. Oboe alone on ramp. Finally, Cole convinced by the fact that this is a B take, but they yet to put any players down below just in case Fnatic pull the old switcheroo and come back up from secret and take A. It should be a free bomb plant here. Blame's coming in on ramp to support, but he reconsiders. Checking outside once more just to guarantee T, just to confirm the fact that Fnatic are B. And they're about to give it all away once these doors are swung open or the windows busted. Flusher, will his lineup work this time around? Oboe wisens up to this. Arrives on that rotate, but he's hung out to dry. Caught in between. Three players all scoped up. This flank onto Flusher needs to come in, and it will from Rush to deliver a three-on-three -three back to Cole and make this whole round that much more doable. Yeah, Nade in. Golden's close this time. The flashes are there. He's going to try and take a fight, but he's overwhelmed, taken down. Two on three here in the favor of Cole. Crims and Brolin with a crossfire in the sight. They're going to run him down. First one gone. It's all on Crims. Clutch situation back of the dark spot. Config's already coming through on the rafters, and Crims is just biding his time. Eight HP. He hears the tap, and that's all she wrote. Config gets it done. Time for the defuse, and Cole up to 11.
Well, here we go. Complexity, they're making it happen. This felt undoable at the end of that last half, but what, six in a row now for Cole? This is quite the comeback story we have on our hands. They are looking to do what Fnatic never even had a chance to do back on Mirage. Up against overwhelming odds and making it feel doable. This would be quite the testament for complexity if they are able to close this out in two after being down at 13 to five. Yeah, Fnatic have never really had this AWP on this T side either. Still on the flat rifles. It's not been money as an issue, though. Just a choice. Roland back outside on his own. Fnatic go back to the four lobby setup. Cole have been absolutely fine with giving away B and winning in the retakes. And just heavy padding ramp in these rounds. Rush on A. And two on the ramp side once again. Obo and Blame side by side as they often have been. Here you go. You'll be glad to know we can see the game again. Oh, that's so nice. We yeah. can actually see what we're talking about. Wow. I'll swap headsets then. You take this, Harry. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an upper play right now. Rush making quick work of it, and Poison comes in with even more. Okay, we're back in action. Yeah, sorry, this has been a bit of a weird half, but uh, some technical issues on our side of things. We're all back and we are continuing on our stride. 13 to 12, Fnatic with another pause. That streak, that blue, it just keeps on rising. Seven in a row for complexity, no signs of stopping. Fnatic had the pistol, they had the 3-0 lead, but off the back of a 10-5 half, you thought that would be enough. Complexity have not given them an inch back into this game. You lied to me. Oh, I'm so you sorry. Lied to me. Go. I'm so sorry. I think it's all good though, man. It'll work. Brolin throwing yeah, some we'll outside util. HUD's overrated anyway. <laughs> Here's the outside play, I'm guessing. <laughs> As uh, they start to cross behind these smokes. And they will get down secret. Now config is already here, lying in wait. He has opened up onto Brolin. No follow-up in sight just yet for Config, and a real slowdown now for Fnatic, as they have to pump the brakes in this one. They lose Flusher and Ramp at the meantime, and even though Crimson and Golden have put up a kill between them, it's not enough to recuperate that lost advantage from earlier on. They're two on three, their backs are against the wall, and now they've got to do something remarkable. And even if they try and hit this A site, I tell you who's waiting, I tell you who's been waiting all around long, Rush, that guy that we all know, we all love. No, not the CS Observer, I hear you say. No, I mean the major winner. Here he is over in that A site, Golden. Down here on B still has Crims with him. Rush has actually pushed into the, uh, the lobby and is holding the vent from deep within Squeaky. Now, this might save his life, considering that Fnatic have moved back up through Secret and are now looking to move into this A side of the map. Yeah, Rush with this angle might be able to just shut it all down. There's no smoke for Fnatic to throw in. They do cross past him, Rush a swip, swatch, uh, swap to the hut, and Crimson at the back of the site with Golden. Khan can be allowed here, both players on lower, aside from Rush, he does get a 1v1 on the cards. It's Crimson now alone, stuck in the site with a double heaven rotate. That's what the bomb's for, he can't move far away, and Rush, well, he walks right into the crossfire. It's Rush to find another for complexity, 13 rounds on this CT side. Are they ever going to stop? Are Fnatic ever going to find an answer, a solution? This is looking more likely to be a 2-0 by the second. I thought we had a three-mapper on our hands with Fnatic lighting up the server, lighting up the scoreboard in this first half, but they have fallen silent on their T side. 
So Hugo, I gotta give you some props there. Yeah. You know, I think I gotta give me you and Trace some props. For the last since what, round fifteen, we haven't actually been able to see the game in its entirety <laughs> or really at all. Uh, Not delayed. We've been a few seconds behind it. Yeah, That's but why you know, I hope our I hope that none of you guys watching even noticed, because that was kind of the vibe we were going for. And now that I've told you, yeah, I broke the whole grand illusion, didn't I? But <laughs> come home to the stellar taste of breaking the grand illusion. Come home to simple Rick. Not bad. But this game, it's on, Harry. It's continuing. It's still going. The odds are against it. Reality, not making a lot of sense right now, but Fnatic, Pistols, and Util. That's all they can muster. Uh, cold, uh, config, rather, back in the vent. Poison's pushed. Oh, dear, he hears a feet, and he takes down gold. And now the A-Rush rush is blind. Config is below, and so they can't really have many places to go. Oh, dear. Obo's going to drop off. They're just hounding down the kills, and the kills might come to them. Brolin with one off the Tech 9. Traded Crimson's time to try in the one on three. Poison's right in front of him. A quick dink for Crimson as well, but he backs up into blame, and Cole finally take the lead for the first time in this map. That is unreal. 14 to 13. The eco gets swept from underneath Fnatic, and now they have money, but when has money ever saved them? And that's the thing, man, you can see Cole, and we can see Cole getting pumped up now, right, and getting into this. We even have the fan cams. God, I've missed all of you. Hello. Even the stern looking guys down in the bottom right. <laughs> so 14 to 13, complexity in the lead. This was 13 to five, ladies and gentlemen. This was looking like a blowout victory for the side of Fnatic. But now Cole sit in the lead and we get plunged into the darkness that is this series. JW to open up. Down through the vents. He's fast on it. Gets out of there. Blame having to readjust. Ooh. But there's guys on top of main and Blame. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Flusher doesn't know, but Blame also doesn't know. And so it's a battle of who knows more, who knows first. And Flusher is the man who knows the most. He drops him out here towards outside. Five on three, and Fnatic, they might finally be about to grace us with a T round. Oh. However, Obo, oh, he gets caught. Brolin holding for it. This is all falling apart. This is guaranteed to be a 14th. Unless Rush just does the unthinkable in a 1v5, he's got to ace it. He has been the top dude for Cole in this game, right? He's been holding onto that ace site every single round, putting up multi-kills. Not today, though. Fnatic will avoid him. They'll head down below and Crimson the Plant. Of course, this is, is, is going to happen this way, isn't it? Fnatic goes silent for nine rounds in a row and then finally back on the board when they need to the most. They still want to make this a three-mapper and that could be on the cards. Rush, not able to save, but the money's still there for complexity. They can buy up for these final two. And I say final two, well, OT, that's a possibility as well. It's a, well within reaching distance, you know? Damn right, Trace. I mean, it's just right there for the taking for either side. And and I'll just say, as right now I'm inside of the server itself, it's it's such a... What are the conditions? I mean, you know, there, it's nice, slight breeze out of the north. Looks like a pretty clear sky day, partly overcast. Uh, server conditions, Palpatine. But moreover, a palpable round. As we take a look at it, it's going to be a Molotov on top of Hut. And so far, so good for the defensive complexity. We haven't been seeing this orb on JW throughout this entire T side, so he's finally pulled it up in round number 29. That could be a shocker to Complexity. That could catch them off guard, seeing this weapon being wielded. It's in the door right now. Poison has his. JW firing off shots, though, through the smoke, and now they know. Yeah, that orb is no longer a surprise. Blame outside. What's he able to do? Because Flusher, he's been a real annoying kind of guy over here towards outside. Blame, he's so good at keeping his eye out for when these smokes are about to come over and then mollying them off. He just tells as well, based on how many smokes that are inbound, as to where he needs to be put in this molly, because he also left a hole in that triple smoke outside earlier on. But it's not an outside play for Fnatic. That's an interesting smoke. They just smoked off Blame all the way back in CT. I don't know how they did that, but it's an A play regardless. And down goes Rush. Ooh. Poison now, more than ever, needs to keep this game in the hands of Cole. And with Blame dealing with Brolin outside, they've done exactly that. They leave themselves in a four on three retake at this A site. It still isn't going to be easy. It is going to be a grind to get back into this one. But it's map point on the line from 13 to five. Now 14 all. And for complexity, 
This is their moment. This is the time to take it back in hand. But JW has stolen that moment away. Crim's falling. Poison with the no scope from there. My word. JW not able to hold the door. It falls to Flusher, who's wrapped all the way around. Poison on the 10 second stick. And Flusher, while he does get the first, there's no follow up. And complexity match and series we'll point that. now 15 to 14. Can you believe it, Harry and Hugo? This this one, this is going to be one we have to look back over. The footage is going to be there. All the evidence in the pudding, right where we left it. Yeah, blind shot for poison, not a no scope. Yeah, not a no scope, Harry. Yeah, been yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, dude. We're not gonna, we're not gonna harp on you. I for said that. the wrong. Yeah, well, that's a hard man. Well, it's all hard. even harder. But we can harp on Harry for that because, well, we can, but we won't. You could, and you have that power, and so I have to respect you. I get it. And we probably will. 15 yes. to 14. Cole, this is it. This is their time to close the series in a 2-0. This felt like a three-mapper. This tasted like a three-mapper. Three but right now, Fnatic might have fallen apart at the final hurdle. That ult for JW looked like it could have done the damage. He found one in the door, but traded and overwhelmed. Golden with the close smoke towards outside. They're going to try and cross into main quickly, overtake the safe side. Not looking his rush. He's been so stellar, but in round number 30, he falls short. Poison with one, needs to double down, but he's getting overwhelmed. Run through the corner. It's Flusher jumping, and Config drops in the vent. Now a man down. A cold. This has OT written all over it, but Obo wants to put a stop to it with one. Stops the bomb from getting planted, at least temporarily. Blame's gone outside as well. That Molotov will keep the secret player stuck. Config's going to run right through it. He doesn't care, but he burns in the final few seconds it's overtime here between fanatic and complexity we're going to throw it to a break we'll be right back with a bonus round
We're going to jump back into this one with roughly eight seconds left on the freeze time. It's complexity, it's fanatic, and it's overtime even on the second map of the series. Nuke is where we're going to try to settle this one. If you're complexity, this is where you wanted to stop. If you're fanatic, you want something different than the results of the first map. And we would too. Give us that show. Let's see what they've got here. Overtime, first round. Brought to you by Hugo and Harry. Yeah, this is certainly different to say the least, right? A 16 to 4 to now OT in a game that I don't really know how it went this far, but. Yeah, I don't really understand what's happening. <laughs> I feel underqualified to talk about this. Uh, Trace, you have plenty of uh, qualifications on your yeah. resume. Yeah. Which qualification are you looking me to execute, uh, you know, to be exact? Uh. Your management. I'd love for you to delegate between me and Hugo. Okay. Who's doing what? So let's get Harry in the later stages of the round. Okay. And then Hugo, I want you to give more of like, I wouldn't necessarily call it color, but obviously I want you to give the, the color commentary. Okay. And provide, you know, a, a more in-depth analysis. Like Set the it. stage. Wow, okay, set that stage up. Go. Tony, Harry, and I had this conversation before. I mean, we've never, we've never discussed how to call. Yeah, but you've never been delegated. Well, yeah, get delegated. I got to do what I'm told. And Brolin, <laughs> he's been told to go outside on his own, crossing behind the smoke. It's classic for Fnatic. They've been doing this all game, but not to the best of successes. Russia tagged by the Orpa ramp. Won't be committing off the back of that one. Poison falls off, and Fnatic want this A site. They're going to use Brolin to get there. Oh dear, Rush with the double up from the rafters. But the life raft that is this A site is not as safe as it might seem. Blame F is here to put punctures all over it and config there as well. It's the Dane game in for two, but Poison left in the clutch. He hears the plant, he oh runs the boy. gauntlet, Crims is off it. And oh, he nails the shot, Fnatic. 16 to their name as they just about get that one past the keeper at the very, very end. I like the idea for Poison, right? He hears the plan, he thinks he can rush it, but it's actually behind the silos. Crims is covered anyway. And at this point in OT, you can easily make the argument that like, you know, the money doesn't matter. So giving him the plan, using the element of surprise, Poison would have been there so quickly anyway. But Crims, yeah, he's uh, an expert and he's going to get it done with no issue. A one-on-one -on -one shut down and locked in for Fnatic, the first of OT. I wish they could have had that round yonks ago, but Roland running the corner once again outside behind the smokes. Blame's already here. He crossed the secret. Poison's got the ramp pick as well. They know what to expect and they will deal with it well. Two shots for Poison. Five on two. This Swede saw has tipped back and forth and then back again, this time in the favor of Cole. The nade will close it and quick as you like it. That round is a lock in for Cole. One more of the half. And really, at this point, Cole definitely want the 2-1. Like, they, they if, if anything, need the 2-1 because Fnatic had a stellar CT side to start. It's been a game of CT sides. It is Nuke after all. I mean, this whole game's been a rush, if you think about it. I'm talking oh, about rush. Well. Yeah, tearing it up. 30-23. <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, we are in overtime. It's been oh. a rush itself. Yeah, man. No, that's funny. I mean, you could say this is a golden run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JW running outside before the smoke's plume, finding poison. Harry's trying to contain and control himself, but sometimes we can't. We have to put him on a leash. Yeah, he looked a little crazy right there, the way he looked at me. I'm not going to lie Ooh, to you blame. all. Easy kill for Blaine. Easy two kills for Blaine, but Krim's there for the trade, and that's going to begin to salvage what started off in a bad way. Complexity, though, off on that right foot. Just Krim's and Flusha. A duo as old as time itself, their father unknown. Obo with the AUG outside. He's going to be treated with a, a, a sweet delight of Flusha. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yeah, no. when Flusha sees you, that's bad news, right? He looks him dead in the eye. Obo knows at that point, like, I need to I need to do something. And I got so he, to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, just hits like, every available panic button. He, like, scopes but runs and then shoots a little. And, yeah, versus Flusha, you need a plan. You need calculation. Because this man, terrifying to have to deal with. He's gone back towards T side, making sure that no one was on the T roof. Very methodical. Doesn't want to get his jimmies rustled by someone up on that T roof. So now Flusher coming back in towards the lobby. Rush has also been in the lobby himself. 
it's a, and we say this a lot, but it's a weird round because they're just missing each other on timings. It's going to come into an A play and Config waiting at the T vent. He has the door swing, does deal with Flusher, but now Crims knows he's there. Going to get the better of him, but that's where Rush peaks and wins out that first half of OT for complexity. Boy, oh boy. It's lit. Oh, in here, the studio lights coming on. Really put everything into perspective. Yeah, great round from Blame. I love the trigger discipline, right? He waits until he can at least, you know, stall out as long as he can before he feels like he's at risk of getting caught and gets two for it as well. JW is boosted above red. Back to flat rifles for Fnatic. No AWP on the CT side. That's an inquisitive decision, but we'll see what they want to do with their golden playing garage. JW supporting outside as well. Rush is going to run him down, oh, and the flash okay. is good as well. Fast on okay. his feet, and even faster when he hits a shot. Two kills before he's traded by Crimson Heaven. And hell is controlled, but not for long. Brolin swings out from main, a risky move. But Cole were already down and be behind this smoke. So I like that idea. They, Fnatic initially thought it was an A play off the back of that flank, but now they've got lower control and a safe bomb plant as well for Oboe. Yeah, blame close to ramp as well could cause some real problems for these Fnatic rotations. Brolin is a man right now who can make all the difference. He swings that double door, gets the info that blame was close to ramp. Poison, where's he at? He's still he's still like having a bit of a crisis on A. Blame does need assistance. Like I know he's jacked, but asking him to go toe to toe with these two men is not an easy task indeed. And that's where the orb's gonna come into play now, trying to peek ahead of this smoke. Grim spamming, Poison now swinging. And these two orchestrating it well, but Flusher has bought it into a 1v1. There's just no time for him. And Blame's there to put the nail in the coffin. It's 18 on the board for complexity. Match and series point once again for Cole. Now bear in mind, and I, I've said this now maybe a hundred times. So if this is something that you need to hear again, I'm gonna say it. This was 13 to five for Fnatic. This was their game. It was their chance to do what complexity, or to do two complexity what complexity did to them moments ago on their map pick and mirage but no it looks like cole might slip away with the 2-0 unless fanatic can long us out to a second ot oh jw takes a shot he's going to have a hit but poison fires back and walks into the scope bomb dropped to the back of lobby fanatic no not to fear outside at least Flush uh, with another orb. They go from none to two. Fnatic had a lot of info, a lot of control right now. They know the lobby is not clear, but somewhat emptied. Flusher, is it? If it no, he's not going to go forward, is he? He's timing this with his teammates in door. They're clearing out everything, and they've already realized. Oh, boy, oh. the back of lobby has dropped JW and Brolin. Is he ready for the second orb, though, as Cole? They take the spacing they were given back inside. Blame plays the smokes in the yard where two Fnatic players are. Flash awaits for the swing. There it is. Does he think there's more, though? Hanging on. As his blame, as the smoke fades, Golden should have him from the side, and he does half health in the process. Flusher hasn't moved. He's still waiting for them to come through the lobby. Rush has no gun. I don't know where it got up to, where it was dropped. But <laughs> Rush is like, uh, guys? Maybe he can find one. Oh, dear. Config Ooh. lives to tell the story. The Flusher oh. is in trophy room okay. and now finds himself another. Rush, is he lagged out? I think he might have. Yeah, he's gone, mate. So it's oh, all on to yeah. Config. This was a 1v3 when it began. 1v2 now, Config. <gasps> Been around trying to go back up the vents, but Flush is just waiting. Flusher is waiting oh, patiently. And now Rush, this is it. Moment we've all been waiting for. 900 ping king, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Five seconds, can he do anything? Rush coming in from the lobby, but oh, Fnatic, they get a 17th. It's high octane, it's high pressure, and it's high ping for Rush to end that round. And it's a high pause right here as we take a tech break from what it seems. Tech timeout. Called there from the side of complexity. It was a crash. I don't think it was even the high ping. He just straight up crashed, according to my inside sources here. He was moving. I don't know what happened. Maybe his monitor went off, right? Like, yeah, it could have been anything. We know how these problems plague us. That's such a shame for Cole. That could have been a very winnable round. Down the vent with the bomb, a chance to plant, almost catches Golden on the flank. If Rush was just back in lobby there, he could have helped out, but... Uh, yeah, the round was already live. Damage had been done. And so as a result, 
Fnatic, they keep this game going. They keep the Midnight Oil burning, and they might be bringing us to another overtime, obviously, once Rush is back in the picture. And it appears that Rush is back in the picture. Ah. Will that ruffle Complexity's feathers, Trace? I don't know. I'd rather ruffle them than rustle them, that's for sure. Whoa. Why? It just sounds a little less abrasive, I guess. Oh, fair play, man. I'm going to rustle you up. I'm gonna ruffle you up. Flush is opening over JW. Position based. Ruffle copter. Yeah, man, we all remember that meme. Yeah, the one from 1982, that meme. <laughs> I think it was Sir Thomas Edison came up with that one. Sir Thomas Edison. Sir Thomas, of course. Respect. I know him, yeah. Put some respect on his name, man. Oh, the rooms of JW. They're not shy of putting respect on their names. They've opened this round up with two. Poison brings it back, but he's now just on to Oboe. And he falls as well. It's another overtime locked on in, 18 <laughs> to 18. And this game just keeps on giving up the goods. And they could be a third map. They could be Vertigo after this. Like, that's super exciting. You know, not a not a go-to map for either of these teams. One that Cole have shown their face on before. But I'm surprised we have that in this series. Or do we have that in this series? Cole don't want it to be. And Blame knows, man. Blame knows this game could and should already be done if Rush was still in the server at that point. We run it back again. CT side for Fnatic. Two apiece on these CT halves in OT. Smokes it down, and we got many members moving behind them. Config up on the T on the main roof as well can drop in at a moment's notice. Poison's fighting, but he can't see anything above that smoke from the top of red. That might change, but double scoping. Ooh, could leave him dead. He dodges the flash. And Golden gets rushed. Config with the opener. Grims is still playing behind the smoke. Flush and drawing the attention. That's all the uh, Fnatic need. The bomb has been thrown into main with Oboe dying. That's not oh, how you want it to no. go. And Crims and JW pinch outside at the perfect point. Four on two. Brolin sees the legs and he wants him dead. It's blame alone. And feathers ruffled, Jimmy's rustled, and it's Fnatic <laughs> reaching 19 on the board. Complexity, heartbreak right now. That third map of Vertigo waiting in the wings, and Fnatic are doing everything they can to get us there. Here you go, man. I remember a nice long new game that we had last night. Me, you, Fades, Eku, playing versus the uh, Isaku Boars. Oh, I think that's the name. Yeah, dude, we get it. You beat pros in ESCA. Uh, yeah, man. Well, that's why you guys should check out ESCA. It's pretty great. There's a bunch of pros that play over there, and you can match up. And who can forget about Rain's impact in that round, man? Like, Rain, mm, secret yeah. secret guy in the server. Rain take, takes me back, man. We all remember when he was on Fnatic. As far as I'm aware, placements are free to play on ESCA during the course of Pro League. So go check it out, play.esca.net, and you can maybe net yourself some yeah. flags, some RWS. We've played versus some pretty cool people on there as yeah. well. Like, literally, it feels like the entire Bulgarian esports scene. I feel like we've played up against a bunch of them. All the Polish pros. Yeah, Polish pros. Uh, Deha the other day, we want to pub on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We also have Fates as well. Our man Fates knocking around and Eku is te not, not teammate, but pug mate. Yeah, dude, some great guys over there. All right now, it's Fnatic around up. Looking for another 2-1 CT side or flawless if they can make it. No orbs, not for the T CTs rather. Poison has his crossing behind the smokes. Oh dear, there's a gap in that one. JW's lurking below. He's been a problem in the secret before, and he looks to be again through the air. Blame dead. JW throwing nades. They're going to run him down. That's what you get as Cole head B. Oh, but the smoke fade for Golden. Nets him that three on three. Not letting it spiral out of hand just yet. Crims is waiting for Rush as well. And so for complexity, it's another one of these man advantages slipping away from them. Fnatic, the trade work has been spectacular. Brolin sneaking through. And all the effort he made sneaking, cancelled out by Golden, just dropping down the vent. However, Poison still gets blindsided. And so now it's left onto Config, and he can't even get past Crims. 20 on the board for Fnatic. They're looking to do this flawlessly in the second overtime. Yeah, JW, he, uh, <laughs> I'm impressed he gets away with one there, but flying through the air and giving him those kills. 
Crims has been stellar in this map as well. Think about how slow he was to start on Mirage, but right now he's over 30 kills, top of his team. This one's going the distance. And then maybe some more. We haven't really seen much ramp action for Cole. They've not been wanting to take down Flusher, who has had that open play, but Cole are going to go back to it this time. The one round where this oh. weapon is back and Flusher oh. dropping the molly. They're through it already. They're past. Oh, oh they line up, Easy. but Flusher falls down to the depths below. Config does get that kill. It's come at a cost, though. A man up our Fnatic. B may be open, but A is no question about it. Golden with another outside. He's been great at that. And even though Cole have B, this plant is not going to be easy with Brolin in the door. He could run it down. He opens it up. Config waits. That molly makes a problem. And Oboe gets pushed out as well with one onto Golden. The bomb dropped. And Oboe in a clutch. Surely this is too much to ask for. Yeah, he does have a whole minute. And one minute can buy you many a thing in Counter-Strike, including offering up that 1v1 onto JW. He's time rich. The resource poor here is Obo. 1v2. Now he repositions, looking for anything he can. There's a crossfire set up between Crimson Brolin, Ramp and the site. These are the two places that Obo is going to have to switch between. And as a result, this round is incredibly hard to navigate. He's very much relying on Fnatic overstepping and giving him a kill that they shouldn't. Going to try and throw this Molotov in, but... Not going to win any awards for that one. Down goes Brolin, but that's where Krim swings. The little hinge in that play. As Obo swings the door open, Krims is there to lock it in. 21 on the board for Fnatic and now one away from Vertigo. And you look at that situation for Obo and it's it's like, oh man, you know, what is the right play here? What is the right path? I'm between a, you know, a rock and a hard place. I'm stuck right here in these double doors. But overall, well played and good patience on the veteran squad of Fnatic to wait that one out. Miss Molotov didn't help anything for young Oboe. And neither does another round for young Complexity. 21 for Fnatic. They want to take us all the way to Vertigo. Yeah, and you say veteran squad. That's a great point because this just shows Fnatic's resilience. As much as they did bottle their T side and regulation, it took them two OTs, but they might just do it. They might just take it over the line. One round separates them from Vertigo, but Poison with a fast shot onto Golden. There's a player down the vent. There's a couple, in fact, with the bomb in tow. Flusher finding Config outside. And JW with an entry onto B as well. Fnatic are winning all their duels and they're looking confident while they do. Blame misses the cross as Flusher jumps over. He fires a shot, though. Blame should be alerted. Poison's going back for it, but Flusher's climbing above. Can Blame hit the shot or the timing to stop him? Poison should know. Blame's got the shot above the smoke, but Poison kills his teammate. He sees smoke spam, and he fires right back. That is not what you want. This could have been a three-on-three -three retake, but now it's up to one man and one man only, looking to redeem himself and Paul Cole out of this map. Instead, it might be Fnatic sending us to a Third. That is not how you want the cookie to crumble, but Fnatic take a sweet bite out of this series.